Here is Muli, the abandoned juvenile dog. Actually, the owner relocated, leaving her behind and tied a rope around the waist, which is actually eating deep inside the skin of the waist. Where is she going to? Muli, come! Watch closely towards the waist. And as it starts, we want to serve her food. And it seems this little girl is the only girl that Muli could allow to come close to her and not running away. Though she's a kind of being scared a bit, and Muli is also scared. But she wants to just restrain her. At some point, she got scared, you know. <laughs> and so finally got restrained and we are about to assess her and look at the wound and also to treat the wound too firstly we serve her milk but she couldn't take she doesn't want to take or maybe she's scared you know but we kept doing everything possible to make her feel at home and got her restrained finally and brought out to assess the wound and the rope was also removed look at the wound so deep and as it stands hey, look at the rope look at the rope look at the rope that was tied around the waist and what we are doing now is what we call the bride meant. We are cleaning it and making sure that the surface of the wound is clean and free from jam. Muli is calm because I presume he has started taking us as friends, you know, because of the way we treated her. Even at that, she's still afraid because you can look at the way she just points her tail. You see? just wind it under you see it's a sign of fear so Muli have been attended to treated and now we are waiting to see if she will eat okay look at the surface of the wound and it's so terrible and finally we are trying to see if Muli will eat Uh, maybe she's um she's still being scared, you know. But she will test it a little bit. You know, different people with different ideology concerning pets. Pets should be cared for.